so it's Sunday the 9th of April Got that one right Just gonna cycle around Glasgow Check out some good, bad pieces of cycling infrastructure There is a cycleway that goes past here, it's on the road I'm gonna look at segregated cycle lanes and also some of the spaces of people for people that were put up during the pandemic to see how that fared. I'll see how that looks just now. And first of all, we will go to Connected Woodside, and that runs from Cambridge Street right up to Gas Cube Road. <sighs> So this one just starts at Cambridge Street, connecting Woodside, there's a lot of infrastructure still to get added to this branching off which is great, but there's still a few parts about it that would put vulnerable people off cycling at night or in the dark. So this underpass here I would say isn't really suitable for vulnerable cyclists or pedestrians. I would fancy my chances more on a bike if I needed to get away from anything. It's ridiculous that we need to think that way, but here we are. This uh, part of the cycle path is the main part that lets it down for me. Uh, the other part would be at the Kilcadden's Underground. Two blemishes on what would be a fantastic cycleway. The good thing about this is, there's actually a cycle a national cycle route on the canal that runs parallel to this road so it's good that this infrastructure has been added this, although the underpass is there is so lot, a whole lot safer than cycling on the canal in the evening or at night and people do cycle you want people to cycle more the infrastructure has got to be there on well lit roads so you could use a bike 24 7 feel relatively safe so this part branches out four directions to the right goes up to the canal straight ahead gas cube road then that way i think that's woodside road i'm not 100 percent sure but that's still to get added that cycle that's still to get bits added further down hey right. i'll head further up So far I'd give this piece of infrastructure 8 out of 10 because there's still there's two kind of dodgy parts as you're leaving the city centre um, but it's kind of it's safety against cars it's just spot on also it has this other connection to the canal which I'll just pop up and have a look at that this is like a gentle incline take you up to the top there still going to have to go into an easier gear but this gets, makes easier access to the canal it's a great space for people that's the clay pits over there it's another great piece of space for people and uh, the canal's just looking beautiful, it's like a free sanctuary and it's only five minutes from the city centre I think the initial plan was to build a Maryhill motorway right over the top of this in the 70s that would have been catastrophic for Glasgow not a good idea if you've got velcro on <laughs>
Oh, can I come away for the arrow? Please with myself, I've got a shot of the shoot. Right, next. You get across this bit. Before this guy. So this is where the gas cube road cycle path takes you to joins onto Mary Hill Road. Not on a cycle path anymore, so you can see why all these pieces in the jigsaw puzzle need to be connected before people will confidently use it. So the next one I'm gonna look at the day starts on Bowsland Drive. Yeah, again, it's gonna still go to beyond, beyond some questionable bits of road for cycling just to get here. But it's good to see it getting used. This is part of the spaces for people, um, infrastructure. So these, uh, this, this, this cycle path is pretty good, this connects the, the north of Glasgow uh, and it creates a sort of foundation for a feeder path that's going to head into the city centre. So the cycle path goes along Hawthorne Street for Bilsland Drive. Kind of just stops here at the start of Springburn. This section here will hopefully form the main route for the North City Way, and by the time it's completed, there should be housing here, as this wouldn't be a very inviting road to cycle down at night. Hopefully, this area gets the attention it deserves, as it has got great potential. It plays take place away from being a Dumping ground. This is only two minutes away from the city centre. People live here. That's unfortunate for them. People from other parts of the city don't respect their area so I'd say the quicker that more of these cracking wee flats and houses get built in areas like this as long as they don't take the trees down and the better it'll be for everybody so the road I was just on joins on to this excellent piece of infra Infrastructure. And this is what Glasgow needs. So this will join north of Glasgow to the city centre. I love the day I come by here and there's just loads of people cycling on this. Right. Enough for the now. So I can't help but think this is it. This is the benchmark. This is what cycling in Glasgow should feel like. Obviously I had to be closer to the road to get across the bridge there. But see this? Separated with some grass, trees, smooth surface. This is a cycling 
cyclists stream right here. People that uh, live around this area probably not get an idea just how fortunate they are. to connect to a few more parts. This is a this is the be Site Hill Cycling Village that was first touted as. So it's a bit tight up up ahead. The plan is to cross over here and then it'll take you you've got a supermarket and access to the city centre couple of access points to the city centre which is great I'm going on the pavement here to cross at the lights because I don't want to go in that way Nobody wants that. I think the solution here is just to slow the road down, put to one lane, 20 mile an hour. We're not getting anywhere fast. So this bridge here is uh, part of the cycle network that takes you to, from Glasgow to Cumbernauld. Can't quite remember the number. I don't know why I'm filming here, I'm just like surrounded by traffic. It's like, ah! So now I'm going to head up through, towards Black Hill, through um, Royston. There's, there's two ways to do this. There's on the main road, which is just down there. So that's the main road there, so we'll have to go to the lights there and take a left and head along there. Or there's the cycle network that takes you behind these flats on a sort of quieter road, so I'll go to the cycle network. Problem is you come cycling down here on a weekday, a lot of people park up here and walk into the city centre. Oh, there's people that work by here as well, so... This has got traffic on, parked up on both sides. And obviously that means it's a bit more difficult for cyclists. Because there's less room between cyclists and cars. Creating more what's the word? Conflict. It's not numbered. City centre, fourth and five canal. Nothing to point this way to tell you. Well it's it's facing the wrong way. <laughs> Which I would have done when I was younger. Mess with people. So I can't complain when it's happening now. To so say I don't feel too sure you know, on this on a Sunday morning. Never mind it. Seven, eight o'clock. the illusion of safety, I suppose. This is rotten. The surface. There. Spits me up on 
Grote. I think you should be encouraged to spend him. Why to be? This is Royston Road. Part of the cycle network that joined Glasgow with Cumbernauld. Tried to cycle for Glasgow to Cumbernauld on this network and I got lost. I'm usually pretty good at knowing where I'm going but I definitely got lost that day. So before they installed the uh, spaces for people, there was a cycle path at both sides, painted cycle lanes. You can see the red. And what they've done is they've shortened the road a wee bit, there's plenty of space for cars and put this two-way cycle lane on the other side, on the one side. So I'll cycle up here and see what this is like. Quite a workout this. But if you do this three or four times a week, it'll become a doddle for you. Smooth our surface here. I think the plan was to make this a bit uh, more of a permanent thing. Heads up Royston Road towards Black Hill. Oh, oh. Past Hugginfield Lock and then on to Cumberland Road towards Cumberland. I don't know how it manages to get to Cumberland. That's a video for some other time. Let me make sure I've got plenty of supplies when I do that one. Hey, that's a good wee bit. Too much conflict going over this bridge so they've put the um they've got the pedestrians and the cyclists straight in. Flourishing Mull and Diner is a project that would connect Black Hill to the high school and shops that are at the other side of the very busy Junction 12 of the M8. This is just some of the great work that On Bikes are doing in this part of Glasgow. So that's it for now. Uh, other than that, I cycled round Huggenfield Lock and then headed home. I hope you've enjoyed the cycle paths that I've shown you in Glasgow. It's nowhere near complete or perfect, but it's a start. And I think the more of these paths that join up and connect, the more people that will feel comfortable and safe to go out on their bikes um, and explore or just use their bike for general everyday things like going to the shops, short journeys. Thanks for watching and goodbye.